You want to build backlinks for your business, but you don't have the money. In this video, I'm going to show you how it can be done cheaply. Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Smack, and I know that building backlinks can be expensive, like really expensive. But in this video, I'm going to share with you how to do it without breaking the bank. So if you're worried about not having enough money, you can give this a shot. Now, as going through that intro, you'll notice I ignored the part about time because this does take some time. Not an insane amount, but not going to be really quick. To build links on Fiverr is very difficult, and I only do it in the very beginning of the website to give it a little boost because the links are probably not going to last forever because as they sell more and more to those sites, Google catches on and they lose traffic over time. If you're looking for just a boost to get started and your site basically has nice content, maybe say like 40 articles or so, and you're not getting a boost, but it's like it's doing OK, but it's not like getting going yet. You may just need a few backlinks to give you a push. The backlinks will give you a few months to get up in the ranks and as you do that your motivation will increase you'll probably write more and also on top of that you might get some natural backlinks and there's a chance google may just give you that link juice because you had it a while ago i'm going to show you my method on how to get the links through fiverr i want to make sure to say this you if you do this wrong or you get unlucky there's a chance you're just going to waste some money just know that Full disclaimer, I'm going to show you how I figure it out and how I get it to work. So on Fiverr, I search either, you know, backlinks or guest posts and you look for some people here to purchase them from. Now, as I look through here, you know, this has a thousand, this has a thousand, 673. Those are huge numbers that I usually stay away from. How are they getting perfect ratings? Well, they write the article, they do the link, and they deliver it. And boom, there you go. Did you get what you asked for? Yeah. Did it work? Well, you don't know. You got to wait a few months to know. So these people don't know. They are hoping it works. A lot of these people are new that are getting backlinks. So they're just diving in, not knowing what's going on and like, hey, this is going to help me. I'm doing it. So I stay away from the big ones because their sites are going to be watered down and they're probably going to get caught. You need to look for more of the person that just has one website, have an idea of the domain authority. I usually shoot for 25, but I will take 20 if it's cheap. Sometimes people will do it for like 10 bucks. I know most people say you need a higher domain authority, but if you have no backlinks and you get a DA of 20 to link to you for 10 or $15, I think it's definitely worth it. So first we need to find someone here. So we would go through and look. And again, you see some of these really high numbers. You're looking for people that will have one site, but don't really mention the website. There may be ones that do and you can still check it. What I like to see is the ones that say, you know, I have one website and I will go ahead and write a domain post. There are so many, so many. So this is also a great way to make some extra money on your website once you do get it up there, as long as you are careful about it and don't go insane, because the more you do, the worse your site will probably end up being. But we're going to actually change to guest post because I'm noticing the word backlinks is extremely spammy. Things change all the time. Uh, Google News approved, do follow and permit, an 80 and, okay, this is a one page website. So this is one I'd probably take a look at and see what it offers. If you click on it, they're not giving you the name of the site that I believe. Let's see. Here you go. Need to know the URL? Message me. That's important because you don't want them to list it because listing it there is going to just make it worse. So what you would do is message this person and they would give you the URL. Simple as that. So let me show you what you are not looking for. What you want to do is go to SEMrush and I do use tools. I use a lot of different tools, but this is going to be a free tool that I use. And the next tool I'm going to show you is also free. 
So SEMrush, you can sign up for a free account and it gives you like 10 queries a day. So you might have to break this up into a few days depending on how many links you're looking at, but it does give you a really great idea of traffic and how the site looks. On this site, we see a domain authority of 44. They have a lot of backlinks. If you look at the traffic, it was good. And then it kind of bottomed out. It's still getting some traffic. But for a site this size, you're probably going to want more. It looks like it's starting to recover a bit. So this would be a questionable one since I see it recovering a little. I still think the traffic's way too low. If you see zero organic traffic, then that means it's not worth getting that backlink. Because if Google doesn't give them traffic, Google's not going to give you traffic from them referring to you. Basically, this site is not in good standings. And because it's not in good standing, the do follow links mean a lot less. If we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we can see follow links, 41,000. No follow links, 27,000. So they have 41,000 follow links. That is a lot. That is basically saying they are selling links. I mean, sometimes you get the millions. You know, it depends on the size of the site. Text links, 98%, 67,000. There you go. I would pass on this. Now, let me show you an example of one that I would go with. Here's one authority score is 38. Have the backlinks. Looking at the traffic, you know, it's going decent. It looks like it's still improving. Now, I don't know how long this one will last, but I would go with this one because this looks like a solid backlink. And if you did purchase it earlier on, there's a chance that the domain authority may have went up in that time. So depending on the price, this is one I would definitely go with. To check this area, again, you do see a lot of follow links, 14,000. That is a good amount. And again, you're at the 98%. So you are looking at a good amount of follow links here. But I think this one would be worth investing in if it's cheap. Because like I said, on Fiverr, you can get links for 10 bucks. And you could have them write the article for like another 10 bucks. So on Fiverr, after I purchase it, what do I do? I always have them write the post just because it's usually really cheap. And I just, I don't care about the quality of the back link article as much as long as it meets, you know, some ideas. And you know what? I'm not going to accept it unless they do that. What's it, what have I had a problem with in the past? I had someone rewrite my article, but tried to make it like competing. And I was like, no, that's not what I'm looking for. You're trying to compete against me in that article. I just want you to go ahead and give me a link, talk about it, and then refer to it. So I had them rewrite the article and then it was better. You also want to make sure they're not guest posting on other guest posting sites. There are people that make a killing on Fiverr. All they do is do guest posts. And what they do is they go to places that take guest posts and they just post it. So when you're investigating these sites, you want to go into the browser, make sure it's HTTPS, make sure they don't let you submit guest posts on the domain. If they do, then you don't even need them. You can just do it directly unless you just want to pay 10 bucks to have someone do it for you. So after you get the links, you want to monitor them as well. I use Ahrefs. This is a free tool. I mean, there's a paid version too, but I used a free one. And you can see here, I monitor a lot of my stuff. So uh, my bestplaygroundsets.com, you can see the domain ratings all over. I got two referring domains, two backlinks recently, and I'll monitor the backlinks and see where it goes. If I notice backlinks fall off, I would go into the backlinks and check because at times they may remove your post. So especially for in the first month, I would really keep an eye out. And if it is removed, you just message the person. I've had it happen. They're like, so sorry, let me put it back. And then they put it back and you're good because they usually have it. I haven't had a problem with anyone putting it back. So, so far, so good. So this is how I would go through and build some backlinks. Now, I wouldn't do a lot. I would do like two to 10 personally, just because I'm looking for that initial boost. I just want to get going. 
I'm not looking for longevity links. I'm just trying to get up more in the search terms so I can get some out there, maybe get some natural links, get my other stuff to evolve. And it seems like as those backlinks fall off, I don't notice any traffic really being lost because now I got it going and it's snowballing and I'm working more on it and it just keeps going. Now results may vary, of course. What are the alternatives? Well, an alternative to doing backlinks would definitely be a syndicate network. And I do want to do a video on that. I'm going to actually do that video next. So I'll talk about that and kind of let you know how that works. That's more of a social media links. But we'll get more into that. What has your experience been on Fiverr? Are you like, no, 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 stay away, stay away? Because I have to admit, you have to be careful. You have to be careful or you're just going to get stuff that's not good. A lot of people may disagree with this information and that's fine. I am still somewhat new to blogging. I've only been blogging for about three years. I had some other sites that didn't do so well because the niches and keywords were wrong. I did make websites back in the day and they did very well, but that was a long time ago. And yeah, life has changed a lot since then. So that's just what I'm seeing. And, you know, if I spend, say, a hundred bucks for 10 links that will last for a few months. I think I'm okay with that instead of spending 400, $500 on one link that will last longer and still possibly have the same issue. Cause a lot of times what will happen is people build up these sites, they get the high domain and then they just fill them with these posts that link to other people and then they die out. And a lot of other places will do that too, simply because they might not even know it's happening. It's really hard to get an honest, reliable link. And I've seen people do reviews on other backlink companies and they show this and the organic traffic zero. The organic traffic is zero, stay away. So that's my ramble about backlinks. Again, as always, say still here in the comments. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna disagree with me, but that's okay. I would like to see what you say. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know how you get backlinks. Do you get backlinks? I'll tell you right now, playgroundsets.com, I do not get backlinks for. I got backlinks for my other site and it seemed to really push it when it was stuck. And that was about it. You know, that was my main site. And then that was it. I haven't worked on it since. I'm still gaining, I'm growing. I don't get a lot of natural links, but I am getting here and there, I guess. It just takes a while. My traffic is also going up really big on that site, so I can't wait to share that in the monthly reports. I just can't wait till the end of the month. All right, so thanks so much, and I'll see you later. Thanks for the view.